name is Ellie and this is my sister, Olivia. And today we have guests, our cousins. Hey! And no. our cousin Miles, but he's on the trampoline right now. <laughs> he might join us later. And today we will be, we will be igniting iron. Remember whenever you're doing a science experiment, safety first. Safety first. Yes. <laughs> For this experiment, we will need a Bunsen burner, tin foil, steel wool, and like a stick to okay. and a lighter. Now it is time to follow directions. First, you're going to need to fluff the wool. And then put the wool on top. Run back after. Then light it on fire. Sorry, sometimes just keeps getting all of it. Why don't we just use the matches? Yeah, should we just use the match? That's what we're using the lighter. And then, we use it. then put it on the wool. nails and other objects made from iron are not exactly easy to burn. It may even seem that iron is not flammable at all, but you just saw some fine iron threads burn quite well. What's the secret? As it turns out, iron burns just as fine when it's hot enough, but heating a big chunk of metal isn't easy. Most of the heat is quickly absorbed by the oxygen by the bulk of metal. Back on the trampoline! Fine threads of iron wool, however, do not have much bulk in them. Hey, heat quickly the accumulates in one place, Mad making meat. the iron relax, react with oxygen, i.e. burn. 